Brotherhood is our pathway forward. I'm Ann Tucker and this is the Spirit Means Business YouTube channel and today I'll be sharing with you a channel message from the angels. I am a trance channel and I channel from the angelic realm so I share those messages here with you and I've been channeling a lot of messages related to some of the events that we're expecting related to the up leveling of our planet and of ourselves uh, and you can see those messages all here in this playlist all these channel messages um, and we've been hearing an awful lot about uh, an expected earth rift and a black out and some other things um, that uh, that they we've been receiving messages to be prepared for these things um, and the reason why the angels have been sharing these messages um, is because of the fact that they they don't want us to be caught flat-footed they don't want us to be taken off guard and surprised and shocked and thrown into grief and fear um, they want us to know about these things in advance just enough so that we're prepared so that we're mentally emotionally physically prepared so that um, so that when these events events happen we can take them in stride and we can stay in a high vibration so um, so that's really the purpose behind it so they have shared just enough information with us so that we we have that that emotional stability that emotional preparation physical preparation um, and and I can tell you that as as we've gotten these messages over the last many many months there have been certainly it takes time to adjust to some of them there's you know I've experienced sort of ways of grief coming through it and now I've arrived at a place where you know I, I feel um, really peaceful I'm really really excited about what's coming because as much as they shared information about about some of those hard things they've also been sharing some incredibly uplifting messages about where we're headed about you know how we're going to have emotional telepathy and what it's going to be like in the future and how we're going to it's going to be you know more peace in the world there's so many good things to look forward to so um so the one piece that that lots of people have asked about uh, is about the timeline is there a timeline for when all of this stuff is supposed to happen um and i can share with you i asked the angels that in this challenge uh, channeling and i can share with you what they said um and then they go on to talk about um what's going to pull us through what's going to bring us through to the other side so i'll go ahead and share it with you now so uh so the angels say um, uh, they start out saying, we have undertaken to perform works of peace and tranquility to make you have faith in our appearance and our subtle strength. We have already performed some, set up structure for what will occur in the coming months. This will delve into the depths of your abyss, take from you all torment, and release you from the grit of your circumstances. We will heretofore become wiser, more open, perceptive, becoming closer to us in vibrations that we might entrance you with our own cerebral undertakings. So here they're talking uh, a little bit about um, uh, what's coming and they're talking about how they are um, putting in place, so performing some, so, you know, basically some, some um, works of peace and tranquility, things that are going to help us sort of pull us through. And they're, the idea when they talk about it, delving into the depths of our abyss, taking from us our torment, um, they're going to help us, <laughs> is, that, is that the grit of our circumstances, the things that are difficult about life and the things that are, that are hard for us on a daily basis, they are undertaking to perform these works of tranquility. We'll see what those are, right? Um, that, that give us more faith in the angels and in their subtle strength and help us to sort of pull us up and out of the, the you know the fear and the, the dark thinking that that can sometimes overtake us um, so so that's what they're first talking about they go on to say um, we will have more enlightenment among people there will be more secondary service that lifts and becomes enchanted over time. This is not a problem. So my understanding from when they say this and when they're when I'm channeling, I sometimes get words, but I'm also getting sort of a secondary channel, which is like visuals. And I remember as they were saying this, they're talking about here that there's sort of a first wave of people who are ready for enlightenment, but there are also lots of people who are sort of on the fence or maybe thinking about it or maybe starting that awareness is dawning. And so they're saying that there's a secondary service that lifts and becomes enchanted over time they're saying that it's it's this process is a process it's not an instant that it's a process and there will be some people that come into it more gradually and they say this is not a problem so then I asked them, okay, what about the timeline? Is there some sort of a timeline when we can expect this earth rift or the blackout? 
And here is what they how they answered that. They say, um, there is not data to support the timeline. We do not have access to this knowing because it transpires at the whim of Earth. It happens when she has required herself to remove those gases from her, her innards, when she is ready to release that which bogs her down, to reveal her lighter self, to become a new version, lighter, better, cleaner, ready for this next version of reality. She will figure herself when she is prepared. She must make this choice. It is hers to create. And we are there supporting her, helping as we do you. So really they're talking about here how Earth is a consciousness of its own, that, it's a, that Earth is a sentient being and it has free will, just like we have free will. So they're saying that they can't necessarily dictate when the Earth is gonna do what it's gonna do in the same way that, that we may have on our path, we, have, we may have, the angels may know that we are going to heal, say a particular issue within ourselves at some point. And they may know that we're gonna do that, that all the circumstances are lined up to do that. They're gonna say, okay, you're gonna do it sometime in this next period, but they don't necessarily dictate when we have that free choice. We get to decide when we do it. And that's what they're addressing. They're saying it's the same thing with earth. They go on a little bit more here. They say, um, you have the benefit of our circumnavigation as does she. We are within her breath and will exhale with this goddess to exhume from her that which she reveals for clearing to become her next self. We are in waiting much as you are. She will proceed. She will have all opportunities to reveal her lighter self. This is predetermined. She must pursue her pathway. It is foretold, but not occurring as we predict. It occurs as she sees fit. You see, it is what that we control, not how, and she will determine when, so we are patient. So this is what I'm talking about, as they're saying that, that the earth herself decides when this is gonna happen, that exactly specifically how and the when. And so they're saying that they know that it's, it's foretold, it's predetermined that she will go through, that earth will go through this process. Uh, and this is the earth rift that we've been talking about, that this will happen. This is part of earth's healing, that she is releasing these, in the same way that when we release energy, it sort of comes up and out. We feel those emotions rise and pass from us. It's a perfect metaphor to when, when things come up out of the earth and they're expelled out. They're talking about toxic gases being lifted up and expelled out so but but earth gets to decide earth determines when earth decides to release that and the angels are saying they don't have control over it so they can't give us an accurate timeline which makes a lot of sense so they say so we are patient all right so then they go on to say you are prepared that is all you must be ready be stable be clear in your understanding so that once this occurs you are not left with confusion and dejected you will be aware, and that is much to the point of our communication. You must know and be prepared. This will enable your recovery, your sustainability. It has a role to play in your up-leveling, but not the primary part. And this actually is where it gets really interesting, I think. Um, they say, uh, you must do much for, uh, of the work yourselves. You must reveal yourselves and require the help of each other to lean upon and support. This will encompass the theme of your upcoming timeline. You will be in service to each other. Then they say, this will counterpoint the advent of your democratic method and be likely to reveal the methods by which you can succeed. You will find in each other the support required for celebration of yourselves. This is the pathway from here. Aquarius is dawning. You will find, you are, you are now finding yourselves changed by it and you will be rewarded for love of one another. So the part they set up there about the, this will counterpoint the advent of your democratic method. Um, that was confusing. And I think especially in a time period that we're in right now where things are so politically charged in the US, um, I think that's a confusing confusing language. But I think what they're talking about here is that it's not, it's not uh, democracy, it's the democratic method. It's choosing things uh, based on the vote of many, right? And uh, electing by, by popular demand. And so they're saying it will counterpoint the advent or the arrival 
of your democratic method, of your popular, what's a, what's a popular demand, and be likely to reveal the methods by which you can succeed. So I think what they're saying here is that there's a focus more on the individual. So, because they go on to say, so rather than saying popular demand, what's in maybe in the collective consciousness, which would be the weight of the popular demand, right? That's like, that would be the democratic method for how do we determine what we're gonna think as a society. That's collective consciousness. Um, so you will find in each other the support required for celebration of yourselves. So that's my understanding of that section. So a little bit, that's a little bit hard to, to be specific about, but um, but the main thing I think to take from that section is that the, or they're saying that this, this is the pathway from here. Aquarius is dawning. You are now finding yourself changed by it and you will be rewarded for love of one another. That I think is the, the money phrase there. <laughs> they go on to say, this is certain to be noticed and felt as a difference and you will recover to the degree that you enliven these principles. You will find that much is pleasing in this new reality, but you will let go of that which isn't required. And this feels like aftermath. This feels like conundrum, forced choice, difficulty. So what they're saying here is that, um, that, that and I think this is important, they're saying we will, we will recover to the degree that we embody these principles of, of, of supporting and reward, or supporting one another, helping one another, loving one another, um, this idea of brotherhood. And, um, and they're saying that, uh, that it, there's a lot to love about it, but they're saying that, that we will have to let go which they, of things that aren't required in this process. So in that letting go process, humans don't like to let go of things, right? There's all those studies done about, about in the colleges about the coffee mugs, right? They've done these studies where it's like if you, if you give someone, if someone owns a coffee mug, they're reluctant to let go of it. If they have to buy a coffee mug, they'll pay two bucks. If they have to sell it, they want to charge 10 bucks, right? The things that we own, we are reluctant to let go of. It's just part of human nature. If it's ours, for some reason, it becomes more valuable to us. And they're saying that, that in through this process of evolution, there are going to be things that we have to let go of and that that isn't going to feel great. That, that it feels like, as I said, conundrum, forced choice, difficulty. But what they say next is they say none is revealed. So in other words, no, no, there is actually nothing lost. None is revealed. No forced choice is revealed. No conundrum is revealed. Just experienced as the tidal wave of change passes through your being. So they're saying there's nothing actually lost. It's just the feeling. We have the feeling of it only as this tidal wave of change comes through. So... They go on to say, you will find your preference has shifted and you are ready to be one another's advocate and friend. This is a joy to witness. You have yet understood the meaning of our requirement that you are still. Do not envelop this query with your focus. Do not now delve into the fabric of science. So, so there they're saying, um, like, like now you have enough information, you have what you need to know. And they said, D -d -d don't focus on it. Don't delve, don't, uh, uh, don't envelop this query with your focus. Don't go researching and looking at like, what can I find scientifically to back up this or that, this claim or that claim or see what's happening or watching the reports. They want us, and they've said in other channelings, they want us to get on with our lives. They want us to get in the game and be present and live our lives. So they, yes, they are telling us this, this stuff, but it's a balance, right? They want us to know, but they also want us to be engaged because through all of this, they said that our energy will carry through, that whatever we're creating right now will carry through forward into whatever is coming next that energy we're creating will carry us through so they they don't want us to be spending too much time worrying they don't want us to worry at all they want us to know they're saying hey we've told you what you need to know now stop thinking about it and move on and that's to me that feels really good so hopefully that feels good to you guys too um, and I think that the, the idea of what we're stepping into, this idea of, of love for one another, caring for one another, it really goes with that sort of emotional telepathy that they were talking about and more peace on earth. It sounds, sounds awesome. So anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed the message. That's what I've got for you today. And I will keep channeling and sharing what I get with you here. Um, and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, you can you can subscribe using down below in, uh, in the in the message or the dialogue box below. There's a place where you can subscribe or in the little button in the corner. So thanks so much and I'll see you again next time. Bye.